welcome back to another weekly vlog. I'm really proud of myself for being consistent and just remembering to pick the camera up. If you watched last week's, picking them back, picking up, picking, picking, just picking up. Right where we left off last week, I just put some tinted moisturizer on that I showed in the last video. Fill my brows in, pull my mascara on, and you put some chapstick on because these boys are shat. And then I'm gonna curl my hair really quickly, and then um, John and I are gonna go do. We're doing the same. It's probably the first time, first time in a really long time, I'll say that, that I have been doing the same workouts every week. So John has me on like a five workout a week I think we're doing like four and then we're doing the same workouts for four weeks and then we'll adjust i'm just interested to see how my body reacts and builds and whatever the hell else it does i don't know i have already noticed i'm getting some weight back my butt's gaining some muscle back back there really excited about it so yeah <laughs> Okay, so I thought I would slow it down and explain a little bit, show you guys my favorite products really quick. I think it's been a while since I've done one. I do have extensions in, same extensions I've had for almost, almost three years. That's crazy, wow. But yeah, a lot of you guys were asking how I went nine days without washing my hair like last week, but I had just gotten it done, one, so a blowout helps, and two, extensions help so much. Like, they just hide the grease because obviously the fake hair doesn't get greasy it's not real that helps but dry shampoo also helps i usually use amika is like my go-to dry shampoo but i'm out so i have this way dry shampoo that i actually really like and works really well and then i use this seven seconds unite detangler when it's wet and i get out of the shower and then argan unite u oil it's argan oil either when it's dry or wet if the ends get really tangly which tends to happen when the hair starts to like get more damaged or something i don't know but argan oil is just great overall i'm pretty sure it can work as a heat protectant don't quote me on that but anyways so when i curl my hair i tend to go away from my face and then once i get to like halfway then i start doing every other so I'll curl towards my face then away so it doesn't kind of like blend all together it's just like one big ringlet you know it kind of gives it like that messy wave vibe and i also leave the end out a bit of each piece i'll show you how i do with the around my face so this is all my natural hair i'm about to pull down so i'll go away from my face here and i leave a little bit out to give it like that messy wave vibe like all these are straight at the end here I've been wearing my hair in a side part more lately, which I've not done in a while. I like it. I don't know, but right now I'm gonna put it in a ponytail, so I'm gonna leave it in the middle part. And so I leave a little bit out and I like drag it through the end to really make sure it's nice and straight and not poking all over the place, you know? Go away from the face again, so just did one over towards. Towards. My natural hair definitely does not hold curls as well as my extensions. You can probably tell the extensions were still pretty curly. But I just like to do it all and make sure everything matches and whatnot. Okay, and I'll do the other side. And I kind of like twist it as I pull it out too. I don't know if that actually even does anything, but kind of just like a habit at this point. I'll also go like to avoid like the ringlet 
formation. Like I'll curl just like the end of one piece and then I'll go like higher up on the other piece just so it all doesn't look the same. Now we're gonna go towards the face. I promise it'll look better once I brush it all out. Before I got extensions, I literally would only curl my hair with a straightener, which is crazy. But it was it's the only thing that would stay. My hair is just really fine and like slippery, I feel like, and it just doesn't have the best texture for like holding curls. So texture spray helps, but my natural hair falls way faster than the extensions. Okay, done. Let me brush it out. I also use a wet brush. Okay, wait. So if I want to go from a middle part to a side part, I would literally just flip it over and then curl. Eh, actually, I probably wouldn't even need to curl anymore. But usually I'll curl some of these pieces that are coming towards my face. I would curl them away just to make it flow better. But I feel like it's not. Yeah, like I'd curl this away probably. But I like leaving one kind of by my face curling towards it sometimes. So there we go. Now my camera's overheating. Go work out. All right. Camera's angles are really hard. No, no. <laughs> John's making our daily <laughs> protein smoothie for when we are done working out. Here's a blender, and then we have. Some. I can't focus. Okay, hemp seeds, two bananas, protein powder, milk, which is just a delicious brand of almond milk. It's probably the best one I've ever found. Yeah, some greens. I don't know if this is focusing. There we go. And collagen. Mm -hmm. Why do we use collagen? Because I need to rebuild some of my uh, joints, ligaments. Hair, skin, my and hair skin, and nails. Your hair, skin, and nails. <laughs> no. All right, wait, and then frozen fruit. Oh. Which one do you want today? Bloobs. Wild. Wild bloobs. Some hemp seeds for some Protein. good, nice. I think hemp seeds are supposed source to- of, Good source of protein, some good healthy fats. I hate that this is like, <laughs> gonna angle it towards the ceiling for you and the floor for me. I always do bananas first, two bananas, frozen fruit. I just- Entire bag of blueberries. <laughs> one of these bags will get me like four shakes worth. For both of us. For both of us. Just eyeball it. We do hemp seeds, we have oh. pumpkin seeds, we have walnuts, we have almonds. So there's like a bunch of different types of shake combinations. Then we have three different types of protein. But I really prefer the chocolate. We have vanilla and strawberry too. So there's like a ton of different combinations you can use. And then I do liquid next. I do the whole thing. This is like 32 ounces, I think. No way. 28 ounces, my bad. I go two scoops of the protein, 30 grams, two scoops. One to two scoops of the greens. If you put too much, you can kind of taste it. If you only put one, you can't taste it at all. I put like a heaping scoop. So more than one, but not quite two. People that don't like shakes, I feel like also have blenders that aren't very good blenders. Yeah, I was just gonna say It's that. really worth investing in like a good blender. It's so loud, listen. Your head's still cut out. Oh my gosh, but also discovered that there is welcome back <laughs> also discovered that in one bottle of this almond milk is 14 grams of protein so there's a lot of protein in these this is 16 ounces christina once i saw her say something on one of her stories once saying that i got these with our juicer but i didn't i ordered oh, them separately off amazon oh if anyone can explain why the caps have like that white piece inside of them like even when you go to juice shops, they have them a lot of times and then it gets like stained. If someone can explain to me why that thing exists, I know I could probably like Google it, but. So 16, 28 ounces, plus there's still probably enough. I'd say there's like eight ounces. I've been probably drinking like one and a half or two of these. One and a half, I would say probably. Yeah. All right, so before we work out, John decided it would be a good idea to prep some potatoes and cook them while we're working out so that we have them for lunch when we're done. Yeah, which some, we're gonna have- Some steaks from yesterday. They're beautiful steaks. They were delicious too. So I'm just prepping potatoes, wash them off, bad parts off. John's gonna show me how to make these. We're just doing baked potatoes, right? It's like growing up, 
people would only make russet baked potatoes and i'm sorry if you're like particularly fond of russet baked potatoes but they're garbage garbage so bad they're just not good not compared they're to gold. not good at all the texture of the potato isn't that great the skin doesn't taste that great get yourself some gold potatoes so the easiest recipe that i have Get yourself small-ish, so they'll all, they're about the same size too, so they'll cook pretty evenly. Oven, 350, olive oil, I don't even measure, I just drizzle. Generous drizzle. Kosher salt, I like to pour it in my hand, and then just a decent amount into a big, decent-sized bowl. This isn't like a huge bowl, it's one of our smaller bowls. Toss it around, make sure every potato gets covered in a little bit of oil and salt. Get a pan, dump them on the pan, the rest of that oil and salt mixture over the top. Space them out a little bit, literally just put them in the oven. <laughs> in an hour at 350, you'll have much better potatoes than you've been having <laughs> if you eat russets. Now we're gonna go work out and okay. then we'll show you our finished product. Let me feel your love again Cause I've been running round in circles screaming out your name Take me to a different place Just the two of us and we can stay up all night Kissing under street lights Doing what we want to, doing what we need to do, staying up all night, everything is alright, oh I wanna be with you, oh I wanna be with you. Let me be the someone who can hold your hand, I don't even know if you can understand, how you make me feel I got you in my head. Potatoes are done. Our workout took way longer than 
the potatoes did? Way longer. So they were in for an hour. I turned the heat off and just left them in the oven for like probably 30 minutes. Sometimes they get a little wrinkly, but they're gonna be very soft and mm, creamy. Creamy. Some, 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 some butter, chives, sour cream, or just like. Or nothing. They're actually really good just like this. Yeah. There's already salt on it. So after you do the first salting, you really don't have to salt again. Dude, look how creamy that just like broke down. Woo! It smells and looks delish. I'm about to eat, what, that and then like what, three potatoes? Yeah. See inside. What'd you use to season them? Salt, pepper, garlic, thyme, butter. Yeah. Okay, it is now almost seven. I'm about to go get some dinner with some of my best friends. And I want to show you guys what I'm wearing because one, my favorite black bodysuit literally ever is now in white and they made it like a really, it's good American and they made it like a really thick, durable fa fabric. So can't see anything. And it has like a shelf bra, which the black one does too. So no need for a bra, my absolute favorite. I got two, you already know. And then this button up is from Cold Laundry, which is a black owned business that I found back in May. And I love it for just like layering because it's a little cooler. I think it's like 73 right now. So we're gonna sit on a patio. Um, all my jewelry is, I'm not even gonna, I'm just gonna tag it in the description box because I still cannot, I haven't figured out how to pronounce it. And then my jeans are from Revolve. They're a gold and I got these taken in on the waist last October. And since I lost weight this spring, summer, a little roomier, I gotta pull them up. Fanny pack, pop of, <laughs> I almost said pop of color. Black is my pop of color, if that tells you anything about how neutral my style and entire wardrobe is. And then we have these Steve Madden platform sneaks that I need to clean. Yeah, just a simple, cute, casual fall look. I'll link everything down below if you want to check it out. The last thing, cause I'm gonna be good today, this is the end of this vlog because I'm not bringing my camera and I'm just gonna enjoy some time with friends eating some delicious food. Probably gonna get a skinny margarita, who knows? But yes, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in next week's vlog. Cause your girl is on top of this lately. Thank you.